everybody. Another episode of Daily Dollar is here. This is episode 11. I'm Art Morrison III. I'm Kate McCready. And welcome back. Uh, we talked about wholesaling this week. Two mm-hmm. episodes on wholesaling. We gave you a bonus. So you know what that means. This week, instead of four episodes, there's going to be five episodes. And yeah, uh, for those of you who are watching this bonus bundle of the four transactions that can change your life through real estate, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Now it's five transactions. So uh, I messed up on the intro. Not really. I just give a bonus episode on the fly because I love giving you guys information. With that being said, uh, let's move along quite quickly because we don't have all day and neither do you. It's time for you to start jumping in the real estate game and making some money. So let's talk about the deal, one of our favorite deals that changed our life. Yeah. Do you know what deal I'm talking about? Main Street. South Main Street. South Main Street. South Main Street. I don't want to give up too much information. Well, look, this was our first real acquisition, our first buy and hold, our first multifamily. So why was this deal special to you? Because it's my first purchase. Your first purchase. And what else, though? What did you do after you bought this property? I got my license. What did you do after you bought the property? I rented it out. No. What did I do, guys? What did this property allow you to do? Oh, I quit my job. Yeah, like that was why it was so dope. We bought plenty of properties that we rented out after. Right? There was only one that you but quit your job after. this is the first after. one. This one's very special. Well, it was the first one. You quit mm-hmm. your job after. Now, you quit your job for two reasons. One, because you hated your job. Yeah. But two, you were leaving your job anyway, and mm-hmm. we needed to show your I job to income show that, yeah. in order to purchase the property. So Down to the last day. Had to wait. Yeah. Well, so look, this is the third episode of the week. How did that deal tie into our first wholesale deal? We used the money from our first wholesale deal to fund and yeah, to fund this deal. Yeah. So that, yeah, yeah, right. We did that wholesale deal that we talked about in the last episode. If you did not watch the last episode, then stop skipping episodes and go back. But we made $15,000 and we didn't blow it on sneakers and a vacation, but we bought our first asset, our first multifamily that we actually owned in our name. We were really excited about it. Um, we got pre-approved. What did we get pre-approved for? Yeah, I was like, first it was like 215, then we somehow no, got- I think it was 230. 230? 230, 230 35. Yeah, like so that. if you, Sounds I mean, wild, we're from New Jersey. Yeah, 230. Yeah. We're from New Jersey. Ain't no multifamilies for 230,000. But there was this little piece of crap town. I won't say the town on here, but I'm like, yo, I know of a town where you can get multifamilies for that cheap. It just might not be the prettiest, but we can get it. Yeah. Turns out that town actually ended up being a pretty town three years later. So what a great investment choice a by us. Town, yeah. It's a lovely little town, but we're able to get our first multifamily for only $135,000. Our down payment was like eight grand. And we had just wholesaled that deal. Kate was ready to quit her job. And this deal will forever be special uh, to us because after we bought the property, and rented it out. We um, still to this day, we started off making $500 a month. Which is great. Right, and then to this day, we beefed it up to $1,000 a month by raising rent. And we have in that property, $80,000 of equity in that property, Mm -hmm. right? Or something like that. It's like 70 or $80,000 of equity in this one property, which means the property from when we bought it for 135 is now worth $80,000 more because that town has you know, improved, um, which is just like the, our first major step towards really investing in our future. The $1,000 mm-hmm. extra a month is cool. Uh, if you can imagine buying 10 of those, right? Repeating this process, wholesale a deal, buy a multifamily. When you get to 10, that's $10,000 a month. Yeah, That's really what we're getting at here. That's the basis. But even outside of that, even just by buying this one property and renting it out um, and like, you know, earning seventy, eighty thousand dollars in equity in three years. Like what is that gonna look like in five years, ten years? Like that initial investment not only secured, I won't say secured our future, like it's a million dollars, but you know, it, it, it provided a nice little equity or net worth nest egg, if you will. But also it um opened the floodgates for us making future investments. So in regards to what I recommend for anybody who's a new investor with no money and bad credit, right? We, this is the exact blueprint we follow. We wholesale the deal, we made $15,000. We use that money as a down payment using an FHA loan, only three and a half percent down on the property to buy our first duplex. You can live in one side, rent out the other and live for free. When you move out, you make $500,000 like we did. And as rents go up, eventually you make $1,000 a month. 
like we did. Um, but going back to the loan, we wholesale, we made money, we put a down payment. Um, the down payment was about $8,000, down payment and closing costs. What did we do with the rest of the $15,000? Well, this is where the credit piece came in, right? We knew that we needed stronger credit. We knew that we wanted more for our future, right? Like we just knew like where we were, we weren't happy with. So that wholesale deal allowed us, it was a couple things we did. Yeah, we bought our first multifamily, but I think we got some equipment for our business. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it, it paid for your license. Yeah. You were able to quit your job and go get your real estate license. Only a couple hundred bucks, but it allowed you to be comfortable during those six weeks of going to get your license. Uh, and then obviously paying for the license, um, paying off credit cards and bad debt that we had. Right, so that $15,000 was really important for us at the time, which is why I always recommend starting off wholesaling. But once you do, you wanna take that money and immediately turn it into an asset that's making money for you. We've made way more than $15,000 in the three years just from rent roll, yeah. let alone the $80,000 of equity, mm -hmm. right? $500 a month is $6,000 a year times three years. We made $18,000 if we left the rents at 500. Right, yeah. Because we raised rents, we, we made far more than that. And we've been able to roll that money now into more assets, which we'll talk about in future episodes. But we wanted to emphasize not getting stuck in that wholesale phase, not getting stuck in like, um, you know, I made some money, let me make some more money again, and then let me go blow it. And now you just kind of replaced your job with another job because mm -hmm. you have to keep working the wholesale. But investing in that first asset that allows you to make money while you sleep. Right. Um, so you're an agent. I am. You work our acquisitions, so you make money every time we acquire a property. What money do you like better? The money that you earn being an agent and finding properties for us, or the money that you make from our rentals? Mm -hmm. Rentals, easily. That was called an alley-oop. That was a rhetorical <laughs> question, so you guys get the point of this episode. Yeah. Um, in the future, would you rather own multifamilies and do nothing all day and just make money from your rentals or be a real estate agent for the rest of your life? Mm, it's tough, but probably make money from rentals. It's another, yeah. another little alley-oop there. Anyway, <laughs> did you like my... <laughs> yeah, this is not a fully visual medium. What do you mean? Oh, shoot, yeah, my bad. <laughs> I hit a dance move for those of you who aren't watching on video. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Anywho, listen, that's episode 11. Mm -hmm. Dang, moving along quick. Season two, episode 11 of the Daily Dollar Podcast. This episode was about buying your first property, FHA, uh, commonly known as a first time home buyer's loan. Mm -hmm. Basically low down payment. Go wholesale a property and use that money to buy your first duplex. You can use that loan to buy two to four units. Anything Oof. up to four units is considered residential. Grab that four unit. Yeah, grab that cheap. four. I wish we would have, uh, I wish we had more money and better credit so we could afford a four unit, for real. Because if you could put three and a half percent down on four unit, you could change your life, right? There's two deals you could change your life. It took us four deals. Yeah, we'll talk about that next. We'll talk about the next two deals on the next two episodes. Yeah. But um, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tap in to not just the next three or two episodes, but all the episodes forever for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's good. Good yeah. call to action. Yeah, good call to action. Anyway, uh, unitedhomerelief.com. Tap in. We have a mastermind group of over, over 300 people where we're teaching these strategies in depth. Uh, we would love to see you there. If not, we also have an opportunity for people like you to partner with investors like us through our um, business model. That we, 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 he gets excited. It's the wine. Yeah, my mouth is dry. A business model that we've been executing since 2019. You know, the Home Relief was founded on partnering with investors like you to buy and flip houses and we're expanding into other strategies and other investments. So we'd love for you to be a part of that as well. But if not, like, share, subscribe, like I said. Follow me on Instagram at Art Morrison the third. That's Art Morrison I I I. What's yours? At hi Kate McCready. You can also follow our business at United Home Relief to stay up to date with these episodes as well as some of our investment journey. Uh, we'll catch you on the next episode of the Daily Dollar. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.